Hello everyone. I just want to explain this one time when our outboard motor, our 40 horsepower two stroke with two cylinders, managed to run on a one cylinder. And this is really bad for your engine. But at first, I wasn't sure what's going on. And I just want to kind of tell the story and what happened. So the motor kind of stopped working pretty much when we were out. However, if you put the throttle advance, the lever on the controller, all the way up, so it goes as fast as possible when you start it up, it would start up and it would be fine. However, as soon as we put it into made, try to make it go or anything like that, it would die. For a little while, I just couldn't figure out what was happening out on the water. And it actually turned out that the fuel valve here that's inside this hole, it was completely blocked and the engine was actually running on one cylinder. This is why it would only run with the throttle advance at full speed because it just gave it enough juice to turn over and run. And so I took out the air box and I had this part right here uh, expo exposed. And as there are two carbs, one on the top and the bottom, I put my hand over it to feel the air suction so that the air sucks the fuel into the engine. And as I put my hand over it, I noticed when I put it over the top cylinder, I could hear the engine go or, or it would die immediately. Then I would put it over the bottom one and it seemed to pretty much do nothing. I, I felt the suction there, but it didn't really do anything. And it immediately occurred to me that the motor literally is running on the top cylinder. This is like, this is incredibly bad. You do not want to do this at all. But I'm not 100% sure what other ways you could have to troubleshoot this with, but it's just something you should be aware of. If the motor literally only runs with the throttle advance all the way up and it sounds odd, it doesn't sound right, it could be that you're literally running on one piston. And a quick check of this is if you just put your hand over the air intake, one of the air intakes is sucking in fuel and running the engine, the other one is just sucking air for no reason and just sucking air, which means if, if you put your hand over it, it's not really changing that much in the engine's performance. Um, as I said, I pretty much just wanted to tell the story of this happening. It's, it's only happened once, but uh, literally all it was is just a black piece of gunk somehow got directly into the fuel orifice in here, blocked this carburetor, and it just wasn't able to get any fuel at all. This happened, uh, this is another one of those cases where you go, go out first time in the summer, you test the engine in your backyard, everything works great, you think, you know what? I'll clean the carbs next time, I'll just go out and test it, and bam, the motor pretty much dies. Trying to figure out what's going on in the water, what happened, that's it, piece of dirt clogged the carb. But uh, the mainly what I wanted to point out is that if this is happening, you just absolutely don't want to be running the motor. And as I was testing it, luckily our motors are old, it's not that big of a deal, but as I was testing it out in the water and I finally figured this out, it was kind of just like, whoa, 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 I'm really glad I did not keep it running for a long time because as you understand running a motor on one cylinder is like bad in every possible way you can imagine and uh, this is how I troubleshooted it I just I put my hand over these air intakes and I immediately noticed that they were not the same at all and one affected the engine's performance and the other did not so hopefully this helps uh, hopefully this doesn't happen to someone but as I said I just wanted to share the story of what happened to me and maybe it'll help someone